Welcome back to Houston Life. From food truck to brick and mortar, Be More Pacific is sharing Filipino culture and cuisine with Texas. For Filipino Food Month, they're collaborating with Chef Harold Villarosa, and he is well known in the culinary world. Yeah, also loved in the Filipino community. We are getting a taste of tradition with a Kamayan feast and two delicious Filipino uh, recipes from Chef Harold and Giovanni Kuchipin, who is the owner of Be More Pacific. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's great to see you both. Thanks for having us. Be Thank More Pacific, first of all, it's such a clever name. And this is a spot, like whether you are Filipino or just a lover of Filipino food, uh, this is a great restaurant in town. Yeah, uh, so we're located in the Houston Heights. Uh, I mean, the main goal is just to introduce Filipino culture, uh, cuisine especially, uh, to the community and hopefully, you know, you know, have Filipino food on the mainstream one day. So that's uh, kind of what we're trying to get out there. It's great. Yeah. 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 For a city as diverse as, as diverse as Houston, you know, I, d I don't think people are really afraid to try new and different things. Um, but you had you recently had Guy Fieri come to buy the restaurant. Yeah, it was a, a couple years ago. You had the opportunity. He came by, he ate some of our uh, banana ketchup up in here and some of our, our staples, and he really enjoyed it. So yeah, that was a great opportunity for us. Really and cool. Chef Harold, so you are affectional affectionately known as Uncle Harold, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle with a K. That's right, that's and right. And you were born and raised in the Philippines that's right, before yeah. relocating to the Bronx at what, nine years old? Nine years old in the South Bronx, yeah, yeah. And when you grow up Filipino, food is so ingrained yeah. in your culture. So you grew up really in the kitchen, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the main thing when every time you come to a Filipino's house is, have you eaten yet? It's the first <laughs> yeah. question. So, I mean, uh, all, all the places that I've lived in New York was one of the best because you know, Caribbean food and, and all these kind of assimilated kind of food kind of molded into what Filipino food is also. It's, uh, it's a, the first fusion in, in the world, you know? Yeah, and yeah. and we and fusion is delicious. What should people yeah. know during Filipino Food Month, Uncle Harold? Like, what is the main thing? Like, if you had to break it down for someone, what what do you want people to know? Yeah, I mean, if you want your, your, your palate to be blown away with flavor profiles from the Malaysian coast to Chinese to Spanish to Micronesian type of flavor, not like native flavor profiles, Filipino food, is, Filipino food is where it's at, really. It's Absolutely. also very, very beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, explain to us what we have in front of us. A lot of colorful food. I'm noticing no utensils here. That's right. I mean, this is a traditional way of eating. We usually do it for, you know, birthday parties or sometimes weddings. It's called Kamayan. And royalty used to eat on banana leaves back in the day. So now, we, you know, we're introducing Filipino food this way. It's a great experience. It's a lot easier. It's a lot faster for people to kind of interact with it, and it's fun. And what do we have on this specific spread? I mean, is this a this is traditional, or is this more of what would you what would you call what we have? Oh in yeah, front this of? is super traditional. I mean, we have lumpia, which are Filipino style egg rolls. We have grilled shrimp. We have a huge fish, uh, milk fish called bangos, which we've grilled and uh, kind of marinated with garlic. There's also some. Uh, Sauces that are in front of you, the banana ketchup, which is famous in the Philippines. There's sao sawan, which is like a, a soy sauce and vinegar base. There's also a, a flavored vinegar that we'll dip all the stuff in. And then all our native fruits that we have in our, in our, in our, in our abundance. Is this known as the Kamayan feast? And Kamayan means to eat with your hands. Correct, yeah. So we're usually going to be uh, a more, much more uh, spread out, a lot more people. But today we're just going to show you a couple of the dishes that's going to be on the Kamayan tomorrow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's go for it. Yeah. What's yeah. in the dish? What you got cooking over so there? So for the first dish we have is called uh, ginitan, uh, crab ginitan, which is just a coconut kind of sauce cooked with crab. We have some uh, eggplant there, some uh, green beans. Its base is our base is usually a lot of garlic, ginger, and uh, onion. And then we're gonna start going over here with a little bit of the Chinese side of our culture. It's a stir fry. So first we'll have some vegetables, some aromatics, right? We have a little bit of uh, shredded cabbage, some carrots, green beans, and you see the aromatic has already started going. So this is the stir fry part. Pancit means stir fry in, in our language. It's also cooked with uh, pancit canton, which is like this white noodle. The glass okay, noodle. Yeah, yeah, the glass noodle. So it's an easy, it's an easy fast dish, and it's always in uh, birthday parties. Get together, this, you always see this all over the place. A pan set, okay. And yeah. what and what kind of crab are you putting in there? I mean, we got these from uh, locally in Galveston. Okay, uh, cool. The chef at Bima Pacific kind of put all this stuff together for us, and yeah, I mean, this is one of the best dishes uh, around, and it's also super healthy in a sense. You know, we're not eating a lot of pork right now, so you know, yeah. So we'll add the pan set, and then we'll have we have these um, little uh, limes from our country. It's called. Calamansi. Wow, those okay, are Okay, beautiful. Yeah. 
You Those can, are even smaller than like a key lime or yeah, a Mexican Yeah, open them up lime. and then just spread, just press through them, just crush them. You can crush them with your hand. Oh, I can crush it yeah, in my you can hand? Crush them in your hand yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, do I press it in there? Yeah, go ahead. Go throw it in. Okay, some. wow. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, okay, wrong yeah, direction yeah. with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I feel so strong. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh! <laughs> oh. Wow, sorry. Tessa that's just got perfect. hit in the that's face. Perfect. That's, that's okay. perfect. That's okay. Okay? I feel great. Honestly, I'm immersing. That's how you immerse in the culture. You got to just maybe put a face mask on next time. Go like this. I think you got set up. Gio, Gio on that. I got your back. Gio, thank you. Oh, it's a very nice setting. Very nice. You have seeds in your hair and all over your dress. Well, I'm taking them home and I'm growing my own plants. That's perfect. That was awesome. Awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. I do smell nice. Easy for you to say, Uncle Harold. Y'all right. better feed me after this. That's all I know. Yeah, chef's going to plate this up. I'm going to put it out there. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to give you a little instruction on how to, how to eat with your hands. There's okay, a technique. Cool. Wow, so uh, even this well. we're eating with our hands. Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's all, all right. Ready. So uh, basically, uh, I would usually start off with getting gra grab a little rice. You're gonna gather. It's kind of what we teach at the restaurant. So you gather. Okay. Uh, maybe get to grab a little protein. You gather it and you kind of pinch. Okay. And you're gonna shovel it with your with your <laughs> with your oh, thumb oh, in your mouth. So it's gather, pinch, and then gather, you eat, pinch. and then you repeat. Can so. I dip this in anything or do <laughs> yeah, I so, uh, this? Yeah. So this. So yeah. Try a little bit or a banana, banana ketchup. ketchup. You gotta try the ban oh. banana ketchup. Why is it it's banana just, ketchup? There's it. Um, it's, bananas it's bananas in there. Yes, oh, wow. it's ba bananas, vinegar, oh. uh, some banana seasoning. Ketchup. Yeah, no tomatoes. Yeah. So it's been yeah. around since World War II, and so. Yeah, the the, the U.S. Stuff. came to the Philippines, you know, for World War II, and so banana ketchup was made out of reduced tomato paste and bananas. Wow. And it became super famous and. Uh, it's cooking. delicious. Yeah. I can see why it became yeah. so popular. And we sell that at Be More Pacific. Would I Don't grab the, the pan set too with my hand? I know it's very hot, but would you grab the noodle with yes, your hand? Yes, everything. Too? Everything yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm in. Do you have <laughs> customers who come in, they've never done this before, and then they're like, wait a minute, I gotta have a fork? Do you encourage people to really have the traditional experience? It's probably like one or two percent they'll come in, but we do encourage eating with their hands because that's just how you do this meal. So okay. yeah, you gotta do it with your hands up. <laughs> that is good, good stuff. And wow. There's a lot of tropical fruit here too. Do you eat that between bites or how do you or is that yes, for dessert? Yes, yes. Yes, you, yeah. That's okay. the that's the way you can cut the fat from the food is eating the tropical fruit. So you'll go rice, meat, tropical fruit, and you just go through that kind of motion. Wow. We're seeing right now, by the way, some photos of the Austin location. I think it's incredible. This all started as a food truck. I know it's a big step to go from food truck to big uh, to brick and mortar. Would you ever expand and add more locations in Houston? Um, that's actually sorry. That's actually some shots of Uncle Harold's pop-ups. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, as far as the Houston location, we'll, we'll see. You know, we start off with this guy. Been open for about three or four years, and we'll, you know, we definitely want to hopefully open up more, expand, and maybe do some other concepts and really introduce uh, Filipino food and culture. To I did. Houses. I did see that you guys have karaoke at 10 o'clock. You can book some karaoke. Oh, yeah, you got to have karaoke. Right. You got karaoke, pool bar. You know. Last time I sang karaoke with Tessa, the cops showed up. It's a story. <laughs> well, we got private rooms. You can shut the door. So. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, Chef Harold Villarosa and Giovanni Kuchipin, thank you so much. If you'd like to experience the Kamayan feast for yourself, and you do, you yeah. can reserve a spot for their feast tonight at Be More Pacific. We've included a link to secure your spot on our website, HoustonLife.tv.